You know, I'm going to caulk all my cracks, all these holes. That way I don't have any place that water can get in. And then get it dry and that way I can paint it. Well, if anything dries up, the screw will jerk some of it out, even if it's over time. Well, got everything set up this morning to paint. So, um, I'm going to be painting this. And I got my long hive over here that I'm going to be painting. Uh, it's set up and ready to paint. Got it set up on my saw horses over here. So, anyway, uh, I used to buy really good quality brushes and I always had time to clean them up, but here lately I haven't had time. I've been running around doing stuff. So, still buying a, what they call a, a good paintbrush for, I don't know, five bucks, I think, at Menards. I don't know how much they are. I bought three of these for three bucks. A dollar dollar general <clears throat> and it's not a big deal I can paint paint and prime or prime these projects put them in my ziplock when it dries I can come back out if it needs another primer coat I can put it on I've always had good luck with kilts I know it'll cover up stains imperfections and seals the wood really good so I do like kilts. So I'm going to get stuff rounded up, get it ready, and we'll get to uh, priming stuff today. <laughs> I finally found my two lids. I cleaned up in here this morning, and that's how I found them. Uh, I use this when I use a paintbrush, and that way I can rake it off here and it don't get in my rings and not seal. This one here is stir paint so it don't get everywhere. So, always keep them around because they're handy to have.
had to clean this up the other day so I'm gonna try to keep it a little cleaner this go around paint the inside all the way up and then I'll flip it over and paint the outside that way I can get as much painted in one go as I can or primered I should say this primer does a good job of sealing cracks too and filling them voids I got the inside completely primered. I left these alone so I could pick it up and turn it after I get these painted. And I'm going to paint the, all of this, but I'm going to leave this, this, you know, and that side there unpaint or unprimered for now. So I'm going to just turn it over and start primering. So I'm going to get the rest of this primed up and uh, get her drying. Left most of the top unpainted and the, this end I had this spot where I could pull up on this and the reason I left the top most of the top unpainted is so I could tilt so that's why I did that now I'm going to just finish this up real quick and it'll be done and I can let it set and uh, dry and I got a few other things to do I was going to prime my bee box today and I probably will but I've got I'm going to work in the garden too so I want to knock this out real quick and then I'm going to get after it. I know I'll be doing more priming today. I'm going to always keep a Ziploc around. And just stick it down in there. Roll it up. Well, seal it to all of it up. But one little bit over here on this corner. And roll it up. Take all the air you can out. I do it anyway. Once you get all the air out, just finish zipping it down. I've had paint brushes stay for a week like this. Sometimes they'll they'll go quicker. Sometimes they won't. And then, other than the dirty lid that I snapped down in there, I'll show you what this lid did for me. So, a little bit of where I raked. But if you look down in there, you'll see where today I don't know. get a little closer. A little bit of white that's on the edge there is where I took the spinner out, the stir, and that's what caused that to be white. But oh, I don't need that. But now I don't have to worry about paint splashing everywhere. Or not sealing down good. Nice good sealed lid. I need to clean, clean my lids up a little bit. They, they ain't been used in a while and they're dirty. So, but neat little tricks, tips. So, I, I'd post them in all my videos so you might want to keep an eye out. So, it dried. I'm going to paint this up get this spot picked, or primed and then I'm gonna wait till all that dries and then I'm gonna paint just like I did the how I primed so I'm hoping 
not to make a mess. Yeah, primarily all the difference in the world. It really, I think the paint will really stick and show up a lot better now. So, yep, yeah, I'm just gonna prime this and then uh, let it dry, and then I'm gonna start priming my bee box before while I'm waiting for this to dry, so I can try to get paint on it sometime tonight. So the primer's dry. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to leave this, this, and these alone and just paint the sides and the ends. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting the bottom and the inside and get it all nice done and uh, get a good coat on it. And we'll see. I know this primer is going to make a heck of a difference, but I want to see if I'll have to put, I'll, I'll probably put a second coat regardless, but I just want to see the difference. I know primer usually does a good job. I've, I've used kilts before. Paint looks a lot better. I mean, it, it looks like it covers better. So, go ahead and paint this up give you another shot when I flip it over or just before I flip it over I'll let you so you can see how much better you can see in there so when I get that painted you'll see the difference so I don't know if you can see the line but I've painted up to there what difference that primer made on the paint uh, before you could see right through the paint every time I painted on this lumber um, or on the pine lumber. This covers, but that primer makes a world of difference. So, all right, I'll get this little bit finished up right here. We go. And I, can, and I can pick it up, turn it around, finish painting everything. So. I'll go ahead and finish these up. Show you what it looks like when I'm done. Just doing the final touch-ups. Just making sure I ain't got no extra paint on the edges. That's good. That looks good. And that all looks good. It'll be a wrap for today. I don't think my bee box is quite dry yet. I put a pretty thick coat of primer on it, so I'll just uh, be back out tomorrow. This got this bench probably painted, completely painted, all except for you know the the feet that I'll paint in the bottom of this here, and then it'll be. I think it'll be done. That paint really looks good on it. Doing stuff I enjoy. I hope you are too. Hope you have a good one. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments and uh, I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, appreciate you guys viewing. And I, like I said, I hope you're doing something you enjoy because I am.